coconut curry shrimp with some garlic naan. Nice, sweet, succulent shrimp from the Florida Gulf Coast mixed with some beautiful aromatic uh, coconut water, coconut rum, coconut milk. So good with some herbs and ginger and all that good stuff. And we're gonna make some garlic naan along with that. Welcome to Floribian Cuisine with Chef Winston. We're about to cook it up and have some good old time right now. So let's get started. So check this out. Of course, we're gonna make some garlic naan. Naan, the Indian flatbread. Yo, you basically need a tandoori oven to cook that. But Chef Winston, I'm gonna improvise. We're gonna make a nice, quick, and easy version of naan. So how, very simple ingredients. What I got here is some flour. Some flour, we're gonna add some sugar, making it taste good, and some baking powder. All the dry ingredients. We're gonna mix that up, get this nice and mixed, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be a nice accompaniment for this shrimp dish. The shrimp, wait till you guys see what I'm doing with it. It's so amazing. Now, with the shrimp, I'm gonna, I got some milk. Add some milk there. We're gonna add some coconut milk. Okay? And I'm gonna add some oil. Some EVOO. You lube it up a little bit, baby. So what I'm doing now, I'm mixing this together, bringing this here together. Mixing it up. See how beautiful this is coming together? The reason I'm using a fork is I'm trying to get all the messiness out of the way. So I'm gonna cover this up and when I come back to it, I'm gonna use my hands. So right now it's looking good. If I had a mixer, it'd be great, but that's fine. We gotta improvise. That's what we're doing. Look how beautiful this is coming along, okay? And every time you're using dough, make, of course, working with dough, you want to let it rest. I'm going to add a little bit more flour, loosen this up, and I'm going to cover this up and set it to the side and let this rest, okay? We're going to set this to the side. Now, let's jump into our shrimp, the fun, fun, curry, coconut shrimp. Now, if you guys watch my pilot, you saw me here playing with a coconut, right? I cracked the coconut and it flew across the room. It might happen again, who knows? But still, we're gonna crack some coconuts. We're gonna crack some heads, that's right. So what I'm gonna do, I got the fresh coconut. The way you gotta test your coconut, you gotta shake it. If you got liquid in there, you know it's a good dry coconut on the outside and it got some liquid on the inside. So we're trying to get that coconut water out of it. Usually, you can try it at home, but be careful. Over a big enough surface, I got a bowl right here. I got a heavy metal cleaver. We're gonna crack this open. Take your time. Middle, turn. Look at that. Ah! We've got juice! Coconut water, baby! And it's a beautiful coconut, too. All nice and white. And smells so good. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save this here on the side, but first I gotta strain. We got some debris. We're gonna strain this debris out. Oh yes, 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 yes. Set this to the side as well. I'm gonna keep this here so you guys can see how beautiful. And I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm gonna use that. We're not done with this yet. So now check this out. Let's this to the side. Now, the shrimp. People's always asking me, why do I save my shells? There's a reason for that. Shells got flavor, okay? We take the shrimp, we peel it, we save the shells. We're gonna make a little simple stock. So, I'm gonna add my shrimp shells into the pot. And you notice it's a little hot, okay? Now, we, we're gonna create some flavors. I'm gonna toast this up just a little bit. Bring this out. And just by doing that one step, that first step, the aromatic, the smell is so, so intense already. So what I'm gonna do behind that, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Actually, this is water and coconut rum, by the way. Just a little coconut rum, because we're gonna add more later on. And what I got, I've got the pieces of onion. You know, when he was cleaning the onions to, to, to julienne it, 
Put that in there too. We're gonna bring this to a boil. We extracting flavors. Let's turn this up some more. Bring this to a quick boil, okay? So while this is coming to a boil, let me add a little bit more water to that, okay? I'm trying to bring it to a boil. Ah, there we go. Mmm, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. So, we've got our non-resting. We're gonna get our shrimp together. This is what it's gonna look like. Let's get this out of the way. Let me put this over here. Now we're gonna flavor our shrimp. Flavoring our shrimp is easy. Now, I've got my fish seasoning. This is Chef Winston's fish seasoning blend. It got a lot of beautiful tasting colors in here. I'm gonna season this here. We're gonna season this, put this in a bigger bowl. Season this here with Chef Winston's fish seafood seasoning. Okay, it's gonna be so amazing. And we've got some curry powder. This is a coconut curry shrimp. Okay, oh yes. And what I'm gonna do there, just toss this up. Look how beautiful this looks already, guys. The flavors. Mmm. Woo! I cannot wait to get this together. Looking really, really good. Smelling even better. All right? So while that's here sitting for a little bit, let me check my pan. We're trying to get this shrimp stock to boil. Yes, as you can see, the shrimp stock is simmering along very nicely, and the smell. <sighs> The perfume, shrimp perfume. I can wear it all over, man. This smell is so, so, so good. Let's taste it. Oh, this sauce is gonna be a killer. So we're gonna take this off and we're gonna strain this. We're gonna strain this here and reserve this liquid. We're gonna come right back to that and we're gonna get right into, actually we're gonna hold off. We're gonna start with our naan. Let's get our naan going first and then we're gonna come back with the shrimp because the shrimp goes so fast. We wanna make sure everything is ready together. So let's put this on the side, okay? So, back to our naan. The naan been resting for a little bit. So let's bring this back over here. Let's check this out. What I'm gonna do, I got some flour. I'm gonna dust this off. You're gonna dust my cutting board just a little bit. And I'm gonna turn this over onto the cutting board. Oh my goodness, look how easy, look, look how easy this is, guys. This is a beautiful dough. A little bit, if, it, if your hands are getting sticky, just add some flour, okay? I'm not gonna need it too much because I needed it already. And it's coming together oh so lovely. So, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna cut this into portions. We're gonna cut it into four. We're gonna make four knives. We're gonna cut it like this and like this. And any good knot, you gotta round it up. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take my oil and oil my hands. and we're gonna roll this out nice and flat, okay? Let's get this out of the way. We making what? None, that's right! Look at this, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Roll it up nice and flat. Keep turning. Nice, if you, know, you notice I put some coconut milk into this dough mixture just to keep the the context of the, the whole dish because we're doing this shrimp, coconut shrimp, and this is all part of this, right? So now, what I got over here, I don't have a tandoor oven, but I do have a nice hot cast iron pot, pan that is. We gotta test it. It gotta make sure it is nice and hot for this to work. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see how beautiful this is gonna bubble up and get ready for us, okay? So while that's getting hot, let's roll out the rest of them. Little bit of oil in my hand. We're gonna roll this out. Okay. Coming along, coming along. Perfect. That's number two. Okay, let's do three of them, okay? Three nuns, and then behind that, we're gonna start doing our coconut curry shrimp. That's gonna go really fast, so pay attention. You don't want to miss this. All of these great recipes and stuff, you can check Chef Winston out on my YouTube channel, K 
catering, CC. We've got a great um, version of this there as well. On my YouTube channel, you just type in catering CC, you'll find us there. And of course, Instagram and Facebook, catering CC, the same way. So this is nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do, more oil on top of my naan, and we're gonna slap this bad boy in here. Since we don't have the oven, we're improvising. Put that on here. So let it cook. Let's see if we can fit one more. It's a pretty big skillet. Let's see if we can fit one more. Hopefully it'll work out for us. Yeah, so far so good. So far so good. Let me get the um, towel. So I've got this plate over here. We're gonna move some of this stuff out of the way so you guys can see all the magic that's about to happen. It's gonna blow you away the way the shrimp is prepared. Don't forget to check us out, cateringcc.com. And our spices are on there too. They're like fire. Flavor, you wanna flip, cook like Chef Winston? Woo, look at this. This is coming along really, really, really well, guys. Look at this. So while that's working, we're gonna get our pan hot for our shrimp. As you can tell, you know, I, I seasoned my shrimp earlier with my Chef Winston's fish seasoning and some nice curry powder. Now, when you're using curry powder, you really want to cook it out. A lot of times when I'm making my curry dishes, I put the curry in with the onions and all that good stuff and I cook it out. But since we're going to be sauteing the shrimp, that's the same process. So let me take a look at this here. The naan is nice and bubbling up. We're naaning, baby. We're getting a nice little color. You, turn, you keep turning it. Keep turning. Oh, the smell is amazing. And once these come off, what I'm gonna do, I've got me some garlic oil. We're gonna take some garlic oil, we're gonna brush it and finish it, keep it on the side, so we can do a shrimp. I don't wanna jump on the shrimp just yet because I want this here to be perfect. Naan is looking good. Ain't nothing good like some good naan. Look at this. Guys, this coming out so, so amazing. So from here, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna take my garlic oil. Just some simple garlic oil. Chopped garlic, olive oil. That's all that is. Brush. Brush, brush, brush. Put some of that garlic on there. Mmm, the fragrance of it all is so, 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 so good. So I'm gonna take it out in a hot pan. So we're gonna take it out so you can stop cooking. Ah, I'm gonna rest it right here and keep it for a one, a one until we're finished, okay? This naan smells so amazing. And I'm gonna cover it up. Just so you can continue staying nice and moist and keeping the flavors together, okay? So, here we go. I'm gonna take this one on the side. We're gonna make some more of that later. But I'm so excited to get to the shrimp. The shrimp This is the star of the show. Once again, we've got the shrimp, shells off. A quick recap on what, on, to catch up what, what we did already. The shells off of the shrimp, we made a fragrant shrimp stock or broth, okay? That's just a fancy culinary word, okay? So we did um, the shrimp, a little bit of water, a little bit of coconut rum, bring that to a boil with some, uh, the ends of the onions, and the smell of that was really, really amazing. We're using here. This is the, 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 the finished liquid from that. So let's jump on this great shrimp. My pan is getting hot. While it's getting hot, we're gonna slice up some garlic, okay? Take some fresh garlic, and we're gonna just uh, slice it up, or you can smash it so you don't cut your fingers. Just smash it like this, and then you can just rough chop, okay? That's probably better for you to do it that way so you don't cut yourself. So, we got all the ingredients together. The naan is waiting for us to put it together. So, we're gonna do the shrimp. So what I'm gonna do here, first, some olive oil, some good olive oil that is. Mmm. Then we're gonna take the shrimp. Basically, you wanna make sure this is really, really hot because you wanna get a good sear on your shrimp. The seasoning that I put on here and also the curry, you wanna get a nice little crust. And you wanna cut, cook off some of the bitterness of the, of the curry. So that's why I'm, we wanna make sure the pan is really, really nice and hot. So right here, this is what we're looking for. As you can see, the smoke is dancing off of the pan. So we're gonna put it inside right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, close up, baby. I'm talking about, this is pop, pop, sizzle, sizzle, and a lot of flavor in this one pan itself. And when I add the rest stuff to it, you're gonna be amazed 
It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be carnival, baby. Coconut carnival, Floribian style with Chef Winston. That's right. As you see what I'm doing, I'm turning the shrimp. Turning, turning, turning. If your pan gets too hot, you're gonna all pull it on the side. Now, this is a very crucial point. All I was trying to do was get the shrimp seared with a nice little color, which we accomplished. And I'm gonna take it out. It's not fully cooked, but we're gonna add it back. So what's step, step two? Step two is this. We've got a beautiful, vibrant colors of pepper. We've got some red pepper. Then we're gonna add some more colorful peppers here. Ah, looking good. And of course, we're gonna add our oil to saute it. It's really, really good. Ah! Woo! We having fun and cooking it up nice. Then we're gonna add some garlic. You notice I put the garlic afterward because we don't want to burn the garlic. So you want to let this cook down and get limp, all right? And when we come back, we're gonna add some more great flavors. The coconut water, the coconut rum. It's gonna be nice. So now that they are limp, see that? We're gonna add a little more curry just to add its flavor, to toast some more curry in here. Oh, man. So the curry powder that I added on here for extra flavor, it's cooking out. So now we're gonna move on to the good stuff. You remember the shrimp stock that I made? Add that in there. Let that reduce down. The coconut, remember the coconut water that I cracked open? We did not forget about that. That's part of this dish. We are creating flavors and layers and layers of flavor, that is. Ah. One more thing I need to put in here while this is simmering down that I forgot to put, the ginger. Put some ginger in here. We're just building flavors and making it taste really, 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 really good. So we're gonna put some ginger inside. Ah, perfect. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So what we're trying to accomplish here, we want this to reduce. The more it reduces, the more flavor comes out and it's gonna be mwah, magnifique. Mmm, it's reducing down, concentrating its flavors. What's next? Coconut rum, of course, why not? Coconut rum, we're gonna bring this down as well. Oh man, the essence, the, oh, the oh my goodness, this right here, some Kurujan rum from the Virgin Islands is making this here extra, extra special. So while this is here simmering down, I'm gonna add some fresh herbs. I'm gonna strip some thyme, not the stems, just the leaves. You guys know what this is? Scotch bonnet, island, island fire. More fire. So that's what we're gonna put on here. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. When you're dealing with scotch bonnet peppers, you gotta be very careful. I would recommend you use gloves. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a little sliver. No seeds, no seeds. The seeds is where the heat is at. All I'm gonna do here is put some of this inside. It needs to be simmering though. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Turn this back up, it went back down on me. Okay, coming up, there we go. So. While that is coming up to that simmer, as you can notice, everything is in stages. Flavors, we're layering. And the liquid, as it reduces, more flavor comes out. So now, at this particular point, we've got coconut milk. That's right. So fresh coconut milk, we're gonna add slowly in to this to bring it all home. Oh, look at this. We're gonna bring it to a boil and see how this looks, okay? Mmm. Coconut curry, baby. Nice. The fragrance, I'm telling you, is so, so, so. Ah, oh, smell, smell really, really good. Ah, now look at this. It's coming together. This dish is coming together and looking good and smelling good. We're gonna, okay, add the shrimp. Do you remember? We took the shrimp out halfway. There was a reason for that because we're gonna add it back. Now check this out. Let it continue cooking in the sauce. Look at this here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold it up. Look how beautiful this look. You can cook you some rice, some jasmine rice, some plain old rice, just with a little bit of salt and pepper. You can serve with this. But we got some garlic naan this afternoon with that. Making it taste good, looking really, really nice. The last thing to bring this home, I've got me some unsalted whole butter. We're gonna put and work in here 
and then we're gonna taste this and see what we're working with, okay? Oh, yeah. This looking good. Woo, I cannot wait to taste this. Cannot wait to taste this. Yo. This right here is a winner. We're gonna plate this up now. What I'm gonna do, the coconut that we had earlier that we cracked open, we're gonna use this as a vessel to make this pop. As a caterer, you know I gotta make it look sexy and make it look eye appealing. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna put it inside here. Uh, what do you guys think? Let's try something white. I think this might look better. Yeah, now we're talking. So what I'm gonna do, this finished product right here, Oh, before I do that, scallions. I really want to put some of this on here to bring fresh, bright flavors on top of that, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work some in, and we're gonna put some on top as well, okay? So let me get some of that ready. It's gonna be so much fun! Okay, here we go. So I got this. I'm gonna bring all this over here. Look how creamy. Elegant this looks, guys. We're gonna serve it into a coconut bowl. Ah. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot wait to dive into this. Add another shrimp here. And of course, let the sauce do its thing. Let the sauce do its thing. That's right. Put, a, put about one or two shrimp right here at the bottom. Okay. Maybe three shrimp. Three shrimp sounds good. Clean it up a little bit. Oh man, looking good, looking good, looking good. So, from there, put this right here. We've got our garlic naan. Ooh, this smells so fragrant. We're gonna take this, cut them into, cut them into a, some triangles, and we're gonna serve this on the side, just like that. How perfect does this look? You know, we gotta taste it and add some more of this. Beauty was created. And here it is. Coconut curry shrimp with garlic naan. Floribian style, baby. A quick recap. What I got here is the, um, I took the shrimp, the shells off, made a beautiful stock, reduced that, set it on the side. We seasoned our shrimp with Chef Winston fish seafood seasoning, more curry, saute that up, set it to the side, and we have some colorful peppers and ginger and garlic. Reduce that down, finish it with some coconut milk, thyme, ginger, and some whole butter. Brought it all together. So we're gonna get this bad boy a taste and see what we're working with, okay? It smells good. Mmm! Tastes good, the sauce is good, good, good. Yes, yes. Let's taste our naan. Dip it inside here. Hmm. The essence of the coconut milk that I put inside the naan complements this. So good. Mm. Excuse me, but I have to enjoy this dish. So, join me next time with another amazing dish. Next episode, I'm doing a beautiful stewed curry chicken, that is. Stewed curry chicken using thigh meat, skinless boneless thigh meat. Join me next time to have some more fun on Floribian Cuisine with Chef Winston. Find this recipe and other fun things on cateringcc.com, Instagram, cateringcc.com, and also great recipes on my YouTube channel, Catering CC. That's all it is, baby, Catering CC. Have some fun, cook it up, and make sure when you cook these dish, tag me on there so I can see how beautiful your dishes look as well. Until next time, cheers.